So Safe Families is a national movement. It's not a program, it's a movement. It's a movement that's geared towards mobilizing the church to serve families that are in crisis with the ultimate goal of preventing these kids from going into state care and preventing child abuse and neglect. Mm -hmm. So with that, we're taking these families who are alone and who don't have someone to call, taking them out of isolation and building them into community in a church community um, within the whole your community too, uh, because people want to know in your family, I'm sure, and your friends, like, what is this like? like mm-hmm. What what does this look like? So I think that's what's so important. We know that people don't thrive alone. People right. thrive in community. And that's what's so important about safe families and giving the church the opportunity to serve because adoption and foster care is not for everybody. Mm-hmm. I've in the last three years working in adoption, I've realized that it's not for everybody and people want to serve. So there's so many opportunities for Safe Families volunteers to serve in different ways. And that's Mm -hmm. what I love about Safe Families is maybe you can't take kids into your home. Maybe that's a lot. And maybe you're not in a place to do that. Maybe you have really young children and feel like you just don't have the capacity for that. And that's fine. Well, if you are passionate about parents and helping parents and coming alongside of them, you can be a family coach. And that role is so important. That role is checking in uh, with that parent to support them, but also checking in on the host family, checking in for safety and just making sure everything's going well with the hosting. And you talked about resource friends and family friends, and those roles are so important. Absolutely. And I don't ever want to minimize those roles because that's who supports you yep. during a hosting. Like that's right. who allows you to be able to do this with your own children. That's hard. Mm-hmm. And some of our families have four kids. So it's like being able to have those supports. That's how the movement continues and that's why we've seen it is when we have this whole team, this whole church wrapping around this one family who's been in a cycle of crisis. Like we want them out of that crisis and that's through community and supporting them, I think in that way. And one of my big things, Erin, was always one of the things that we said to our church when we brought this to our church. um, Well, one, we brought it to our leadership and I was like, this is a must. (laughs) Our church must be doing this. Um, And anyway, they were like, yes, absolutely. We see this. And then when we brought it to the church, one of my big things was just say yes. Mm -hmm. You can say yes to something. You can say yes to a meal. You can say yes to a pack of diapers to to bring that. So just saying yes, a host family, yes, that can feel very daunting. Um, And also if a host family does feel daunting, there are other things too, where it's like, we would like to just start as respite. I think we could do about three days and we'd like to provide host families with respite. There are other ways to do that. But yes, those other roles, it, safe families would not be successful if there were just host families that said yes, and then had no support. We need, that's one thing too that I think a host family could hear is that it is not only your responsibility to maintain relationships with this family. A family coach comes in and and really communicates a lot with that birth family. And, and so you're not the only person maintaining relationships. There is a community maintaining relationships. So yeah, the family coach one is, is huge. And the resource friends who brings those diapers, the formula at our church, we have a safe families closet. So sometimes people even ask, what can I do? And we say, Hey, we need this in the safe families closet. Can you bring that? And so lots of times too, I think, especially as Christians, we want to serve. It is not, um, it is in our heart to serve. Sometimes we just don't know how. And so, yeah, the safe families ministry really offers opportunities for, for you to serve in lots of different ways.